Can women be pastors? Let's examine what the Bible says about this issue. In 1 Timothy chapter 2, verses 11 to 12, the Word of God says, Let a woman learn in silence with all submission. And I do not permit a woman to teach or to have authority over a man, but to be in silence. This passage clearly commands that women are not to be pastors in the church. In 1 Timothy chapter 2, verses 13 to 15, the Bible explains, And it was not Adam who was deceived by Satan. The woman was deceived, and sin was the result. But women will be saved through childbearing, assuming they continue to live in faith, love, holiness, and modesty. This indicates that the roles assigned by God during creation are significant. And the true role of women is to have and raise children and not to be pastors in the church. In 1 Timothy chapter 3, the Word of God tells us, that an pastor or deacon must be the husband of one wife, clearly showing the pastors and deacons are to be men. Also, when Jesus chose his disciples, he chose twelve men instead of six women and six men, confirming that the New Testament church was to be led by men, reconfirming the original hierarchy that God established during creation. These teachings do not diminish the value or significance of women in the church. In fact, in Titus chapter 2, verses 3 to 5 encourage older women to teach younger women to be reverent reverent in behavior, not slanderers, not given too much wine, and teachers of good things. In conclusion, the Bible does forbid women to be pastors, but equally highlights their indispensable contributions to the body of Christ, and to society as mothers and teachers of women and children. God bless you. Like and subscribe for more biblical truth.